back to our system, our settings and our print settings. Uh, our first tab here is our style tab. You'll notice our print mode is set to external sensor. We only have two options, external sensor and automatic. Uh, the external sensor is what we will use uh, with the photo cell uh, if we needed to set this up for a repeat print function or a continuous printing we'd use the automatic uh, we have our speed adjustment keep in mind speed for the uh, m uh, the MeanJet uh, mx series uh, is going to be the lower the number the faster it prints the higher the number the slower it prints the next option there is your interval, well, that's our print delay. The higher the number, the longer that it waits from the time that the external sensor reads the product until it actually begins your print cycle. We have our direction, uh, four possible directions there uh, to make sure that the print appears correctly depending on which uh, direction your product is traveling or its orientation if say the box is filled upside down or something along those lines. Uh, we have our nozzle line. The nozzle line is for the front of the cartridge. Uh, there are two possible choices left and right. If for whatever reason you get one uh, row that is stopped up, switch over to the other. Uh, that may help to uh, keep production going until you have a time to clean the cartridge or send it in for recovery. Next is our print width. That uh, does nothing at this point. Only if we are using an encoder does it allow us to make those changes. Our grayscale here increases the amount of ink and boldness of the characters. Uh, the higher the number, the more ink it's going to put out. Uh, keep in mind that also makes some small adjustments uh, over time to the width. Uh, so it, the higher the number, the longer the code will become. Our sync encoder box is what we will use to enable an encoder function. We attach our encoder to the external port and that reads the speed of the line or product as it's passing uh, using a wheel style encoder. Uh, if you don't have an encoder attached, please make sure that that box is not checked as the system will not function properly. Our next tab here is our DPI tab. The default that we send it to you at is 300. You have the ability to choose a lower DPI or a higher DPI. That is the density of the ink, in other words, how dark it will print. Uh, and uh, so the, uh, that also uses more ink. So depending on your usage, uh, if you need a nice, dark, crisp, clear code, uh, 600 may be the right one for you. Again, we default to 300. That fits most of our applications. Uh, but if you're just doing a lot in date and it doesn't need to be all that bright uh, and uh, you're not looking for serious clarity, uh, you can use the 150. You'll still have a nice, well-defined code, uh, but you'll save a little bit of ink along the way. Last one here, we've got our advanced tab. If we needed to do a repeat print, we can identify what that repeat print is, how many times we want to repeat it, and the spacing between those prints. We also have the ability to do reciprocating print. That means that the printer will print from left to right and then right to left uh, with each signal of the photo cell. Uh, the positive count is the, or reverse count, is how many times you want it to repeat either left, left, or right, right. Um, so going back and forth. We'll click OK to come back out of there. Uh, that was the last thing in the print.